Hi guys, um, back on with 300B Parallel Single Ended. Um, we've done all the wiring for the heaters, uh, for the rectifier tube, and then we've hooked up the rectifier tube to the choke. These I will sort out later, because they're still a bit too short. They're, most of those go to the earth bar anyway. So what we're doing now, before we put the tag boards on, which are here, um, I'm just going to solder these in. So these sit on the the heaters of the 300Bs and they form part of the cathode because ca it's a direct heated tube so the cathode sits on the heaters as well as the heaters that generate the kind of electrons for conducting electricity. So here we go, it's a bit tight but um, These are all 15R. We're using the five watt mills, which look quite small, don't they? For a five watt server. They, could, they do the job well. What's that? Cool. Um, then we're gonna, what I'm trying to do is lay all the stuff that will be sitting underneath the tag boards. Um, so the next one we're going to do is, this is the output transformer. Um, you have one that's connected to the HT. Um, the, this is the speaker out, goes to the speakers, which is there, which I'll do in a minute. Um, but you've got the red and the black of the output transformer. The red is connected to the anode of the 300Bs, but obviously it's too, too short. So I'm just going to extend this. So we're going to we're going to have to identify which one's the anode of the 200 feet. So I told you previously that there's two big holes which relate to the heater, which are the ones we've wired these two. Um, so looking at the diagram, this one and this one are the anode. So that's what we're wiring this to. So and here, follow a nice path to there. Because it's parallel single-ended, you're basically having two tubes in parallel, as the name suggests. It gives you double the power output. Oh, who's that at the door? Coffee, my man. Oh my god. Just what I wanted. Having fun? Yeah. Cheers, man. Very good. We do make the best coffee in the world here. It's essential. So if you ever come and visit, I might give you one coffee, that is. To be fair. I'm going to slide those in. So that's the other anode stand. The other, well, the unsoldered pin is for the cathode. But we'll sort that later. I don't need to do it now, really. So the next one is these are the outputs, uh, speaker outputs from the output transformer here, which I think is not that long enough to get to there, which is cool. Um, so the green is obviously earth. It's always good to like, heat it up for a bit longer than normal and then apply the solder. Because otherwise it's uh, you just get pretty solder everywhere. Anyway, so that's that done. So the reason I'm putting it down to the chassis surface rather than letting it float around is this is where all the signal stuff will go, all the components. So you don't really want high voltage cables being close to 
the actual component, so at least it's separated by the 25 mil. So I'll just keep it all down low. So the only kind of other wiring that we're going to be um, doing is you've got your signal input here, which will come to around here, but I would effectively have that coming down the middle because I don't want it near this stuff. Um, also you've got your feedback switch here. I'll probably change that feedback switch for something else. Um, that also will just be raised coming down here because that also has a connection around about there. So I think they sit there about those components. So we'll do we'll do that later. So you can see here that I've got the um, the other one here. Just so I can have a little look at it when I'm building it. Because even though it's a complete mess, that that layout is, is kind of right where the components sit. I mean, the wiring needs to, just needs neating, neating up, neatening up. So we um, looking at this. I've just realised there's two items that I'm not keen to rip out of this one to use because they're old, and, and that's bridge rectifiers. I mean. We do sell a bridge rectifier, but it's like 70 quid. I don't really want to put that in this. So you've got one here, that's for a heater. Oh, actually, we don't need it because we're using this. So yeah, we just need to get a replacement. Well, I'll get something in that's similar to this. And in fact, I'm probably gonna convert that bridge rectifier to just you know, having diodes in place of, because it's better to have separate diodes than the bridge rectifier, which is a bridge rectifier is basically four diodes in a package. So that's what I'm going to do to that one. So if you look here, we're just going to be focusing on this circuitry here, which is mostly on that first board. So finding the components. So we're going to be using these black gates. Um, they're probably a bit old. So I just want to check that they're good. Um, the capacitance is good. They might be a bit off. So using an LCR, this one measures, it's supposed to be 100, but it measures 83. So not, not brilliant, but um, not too bad. If the other one's similar, I'll still use it. So the other one is, yeah, 84. So I'm going to use those, so at least they're the same. And this one, is supposed to be 470. Actually, that's pretty good. So that's 467 microfarads. So that's, let's keep that one. It's pretty much spot on. But we use these because the black case got used, don't you? Come on. As an alternative, you could go for the case eye, which we might do that later on, perhaps. So I'm just kind of following the layout here. Um, we don't have to worry about this one, that's a diode because it's DC, the other diode in there anyway for the DC heaters for that. Um, and also that one, we don't need that one because that's part of the smoothing for the, the rectified piece. So those are kind of redundant. <laughs> oh well. So, um, and then we need to pick out all the components, which we should have done a minute ago, but we didn't do that, did we? It's gonna be me rummaging in a box now. 